there's one thing that you'd like to do using your talent that you haven't mm -hmm. done yet, what would Did it be? My dream actually is to have like to incorporate all the arts that I know of into one thing. Oh. Like for example, Papa. like my macrame and my painting is gonna be all in one. So I was actually thinking like why not like go travel no, no. like especially in Zamboanga del Norte and make postcards Papa. for example, Papa. make postcards of the place and then like through acrylic or watercolor or gouache oh, wow. in any uh, oh, wow. in any um, medium and then when I visit the place I'm gonna have to bring my macrame to sell in there that place oh. while I do my arts and you know I I am able to travel and I'm able to sell at the same time so actually that was I mean you've mentioned the macrame yeah Am I right macra yes macrame can you tell us more about it macrame is actually an art of tying ropes into a uh, into a different uh, different Style. Yeah, a different stuff that is like more of home de for home decor oh. and for planters and stuff. It's like a more of a boho style. Oh. Okay, aside from painting, Min Min here is also doing a handcraft. So we call it macrame. Macrame. The macrame business is actually a. Uh, it's been a year and four months. Well, I Order. I resigned at the bank and then. Currently, my my source of income is the macrame and my paintings. Like my arts is sustaining me. So no no need to be at the bank. <laughs> yeah, no need to be at the bank and earn. But actually, for those, you know, you have to also have background and willing to actually struggle yes. with arts because building a career in arts is difficult. And you have also to sacrifice. Yeah, sacrifice. Your time. Time, your, your love life, love life. <laughs> Joke. Time and love life, but love life is forever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Min, if you will be invited, if you were invited by someone to represent or to join to a national exhibit with your paintings, what subject are you going to present? Oh, oh that would be possible. Yeah, that would be possible. So but what we are gonna with the the career I'm taking? Yeah. Hopefully that happens. Yeah, we but will pray for that yeah, one. Yeah, yes, thank you so much. So the the subject that I would be presenting most likely, if given a chance, then I'm going to be painting what I feel at that time. Oh. Yeah. Aside from painting, aside from handcrafting, Min Min here is also doing acting, writing, and directing. Oh, what a talent she has! <laughs> This ongoing film to be shown on December was it? Uh, December, the, December this month. December. Okay. So the first ever okay. film fest. Hi. It is uh, entitled Dagan, directed by uh, Vinge Alver, and also a uh, true indigenous story of Jose Gumanad, and written by me and to assisted uh, assistant director of. Joseph Humano. So hopefully you can watch that. It's up in in YouTube. Written by you and at the same time you will be also one of yeah, the Yeah, I was one of the actresses. Oh. <laughs> so, so I told I was you. Too. <laughs> Going back to paintings me. <laughs> so what is your message? What is your message to all the aspiring painters like you who wish to be successful in their field, in their chosen field. You just have to know that a career in painting is not, you know, it's not easy. And you have to invest a lot of time, a lot of patience, and a lot of time in your craft and in your work. And also, it just will not bring you money as soon as you started it. It won't. So expect that that's gonna happen, and that's okay because you're building your career and you're still doing it, and that's fine. Just keep on going. Correct. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not a competition. Having in art, work, uh, having a work of art within you is actually a, a winning piece. Just think that you know everything will turn out to be okay, and yes. you can do it. Just, you too can do it. Yeah. So according to her, just trust 
Peek-a-boo! 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 Peek-a-boo!
on a canvas? Oh, actually, I have it. And actually, I was thinking of that, but I haven't done, done, it, done yet. it yet. I haven't done it yet. Okay, what, what's the title like, of that book? I don't Ah, let me see. Uh, actually, I forgot. Oh come on. <laughs> just that. I forgot. How can I forget the title? But yeah, I'm just gonna tell you. I've read that book three times, mm. and then every time I read that, it gives me a different meaning. Okay, what's that book all about? That you wish to paint? Oh, it's about he was searching for a treasure, but then eventually he was able to be like all over the place searching for the treasure, and he was he encountered a lot of things, and then he encountered difficulties in life. Gives me a realization that that for example with me my wish is like this and that I'm and I'm gonna be able to travel the whole world and see things and knowing that you know expecting that my treasure is like in a different uh, in a yes. different situation that I'm not here eventually you will realize that the treasure is what we have now yes and we were in, uh, we are. We are experiencing all those things because for us, uh, we, are we are experiencing all those things. So for us to be able to, you know, um, to learn, to learn, and you know, like uh, appreciate what we have now, yes. appreciate the beauty of life. Yeah, appreciate what we have now, because because future is not, you know, future is not given to you. And this is, is my now. treasure. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so this is now the this is now the finished product of our painter and she calls it a starry night. So thank you so much Min for your time. Thank you so much for having me. It's my first time. It's my pleasure to be in your channel. Yeah, it's an opportunity having yeah. you, such a gorgeous lady with an interesting talent. Yes, thank okay. you so much. So there you have it guys. That concludes the story of Miss Hermina Lido. I hope you've gained something for today's video and if you do, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the red subscribe button below. Hit that notification bell for you to be updated on my next videos. This has been Rose Bell saying do not be afraid to unlock yourself. I know you have a story to tell. So I'll see you on my next vlog. Thank you for watching. See you.